Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question Minimum Height Trees. In this question, we are given n nodes labeled from 0 to n minus 1 and an array of n minus 1 edges. We need to return all the possible rooted trees, those with the minimum height. We are given the example. In this example, we have four uh, nodes and we need to return the minimum height tree. With these edges, we see that there is only one minimum height tree possible which is rooted to node 1. Let us see how we approach this question. In the given hints, you will also see that it is written that how many minimum height trees can a graph have at most. That means there is only a certain number of minimum height trees possible in any graph. So we need to think in that direction and move with our logic. Now first let's understand this using a basic example and see how we can find the solution. Let's consider we have five nodes given to us labeled from 0 to 4 and all these nodes are connected to the adjacent node. In this case the minimum height tree will be rooted at node 2 because in that case only the tree will be most balanced. But now what if there were six nodes. In that case both 2 and 3 will give us the same result as the height of the tree in both these cases will be 3. This basic example clears the fact that there can be at most 2 minimum height tree. There cannot be more than that. Let's again see we have 6 nodes with us. Now how we come to know that it is 2 and 3. Now as we can see 0 and 5 are the leaf nodes and the tree rooted at 0 and 5 won't be making a minimum height tree. So what we do is we need to remove the two trees and just focus on the tree remaining. So when we remove this we have left this tree. Now again what we do is we see that 1 and 4 are again the leaf node and won't contribute to the minimum height trees. So what remains is 2 and 3. Now as we know that a minimum height tree can have at most two nodes and the resulting is 2 and 3, they becomes our answer as we saw previously also. Tree rooted to 2 and 3 node are giving the minimum height tree. Now coming back to the one of the example given with the question itself. If we see this tree, we see that how many possible ways are there to find the minimum height trees in this case. Now let's find the longest root in this particular tree. It can either be 1, 3, 4, 5 or 0, 3, 4, 5 or can also be 2, 3, 4, 5 all these containing 4 nodes. Now if we see that 0 and 5 are again the leaf node and won't contribute to the minimum height tree root so we can reject them and the answer in this case will become 3 and 4 as given the example also. So what encoding perspective we can do? We need to find the degree of all the nodes nodes with degree as 1 are the leaf nodes. So these nodes won't be contributing to the minimum height tree root. They cannot be our answer. So what we do is we take all the 1 degree nodes and then remove this. When we remove these nodes, we decrement the degree of the rest of the nodes that are attached to them. When we do this, we get 2 nodes 3 and 4 with degree 1. We need to continuously remove the nodes with degree 1 till there are at most 2 nodes. In this case the nodes left are 3 and 4 and there are 2, two nodes that are possible. So we return 3 and 4 as our answer. Now let's see how we can code this and we'll discuss that step by step. We'll start off with a new list which will hold the result for us. We can name it RES. List. If the number of nodes is less than or equals to 0, in that case we will simply return the empty list because there are no nodes. If the value of n is equals to equals to 1, then we simply add 0 and return that list because there is only one node present and no edges will be there. Now we initialize an array degree which will hold degree for the nodes and also an adjacency list. 
it will be list and list. will initialize the list for size equals to n once this is done we'll iterate over the edges and put the values first we'll put values in degree And then we put the values into adjacency list. Now the adjacency list and the degree matrix are completed. So we need to have a queue. Now why we are using a queue is we will be doing a BFS on the tree. So we will initialize our queue. Now we loop on all the nodes and for starting find all the nodes with the degree as one. If there is any we add them into the queue. Once all the nodes with the degree 1 are added, we need to loop till the n is greater than 2. We'll first find the size of the queue and then decrement this size from the number of nodes. As these many nodes are not eligible to be the part of the minimum heighted tree root. Okay, now once this is done, we will loop till the size is no, is greater than 0. Now, this is a plain uh, BFS. We pull the value from the queue. We discussed how we need to remove these nodes and decrement the degree of the nodes that they are connected to. So, in order to do that, we will loop for int i from adjacent list of for v. Now for this vertex, we need to decrement the degree. So what we do is degree of i is negative negative. Now we check if this degree has become equals to 1. If it has become equals to 1, we need to add that into our queue. We add this degree into the queue and this is done. Once all this logic completes, in the list what remains is either one node or two nodes at most which will be the nodes on which the minimum heighted tree will be rooted. Now in the result list if we add all the values of the queue that are there and simply return this result, we will get our answer. We run this, it is giving us proper response. Let's check that for the second example as well. It's working fine. Let's check for the empty cases. And the last one. So it is working fine. Let's submit this. So it got submitted. The time complexity of this algorithm is O of n as we are going through every node and the space complexity is also O of n. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.